What's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today we're going to be covering Atari Jaguar. Now when it comes down to it, there are a few emulators on the market that cover this pretty well, but nothing's come close to this brand new emulator known as Big P EMU. Big PMU is fairly new to the scene and it's coming to us from a developer who goes by the name Rich Whitehouse. And they have managed to get all retail Atari games up and running with sound, video, I mean everything we need to get Atari games running on our PC is here. Plus, if we head over to the compatibility list, something that we've actually never been able to emulate in the past is possible with Big PMU. And that's the retail disc software for the Jaguar. Dragon's Lair, Myst, Space Ace, we've even got the CD version of Primal Rage here. And this is really easy to set up with LaunchBox and Big Box. It's a standalone emulator. I've been super pleased with the performance and compatibility here, and I think this is definitely going to be the go to Atari emulator from now on. So if you're ready to get Atari Jaguar games up and running, let's go ahead and get started. So, first things first, we're going to need the Big PMU emulator. Link for this will be in the description. We're going to go ahead and download it right here. This is version 1.052. I'm sure it will be updated in the future. We're going to go ahead and download it here. So now we've got the emulator downloaded. We're going to go ahead and extract it. I've just got it right on my desktop. And uh, inside of here, you're going to see the big PMU EXE. This is exactly what we're going to be using. We can actually launch it right now, but we're going to wait till we import our games. That way we can configure everything together. Now when it comes to keeping everything kind of portable with LaunchBox, I like to put this in my LaunchBox directory under my emulators folder. Mine's on a separate drive. LaunchBox, emulators, and I'm just going to place the big PMU folder right in here for easy access. So we've got that in place. Now it's time to worry about our games. Big PMU supports several different file formats, but for me, what I've got going on over here is my Atari Jaguar games and my Atari Jaguar CD games. I keep these as separate platforms. In my Atari Jaguar folder, I've got some that are zipped and I've actually got some that are J64 just to show you that it'll work with both. So I'm just going to leave them just like this. And when it comes to my Atari Jaguar CD games, I personally use .cdi. So all of my Jaguar CD games are CDI format. Now again, I want to keep everything as portable as possible. So I'm going to place both of these folders in my LaunchBox games directory. On a separate drive here for me, games, and I can just put them right in here. Let it go ahead and transfer over. Now that we've got all that in place, we're going to go ahead and set up the emulator and import our games. This is really easy. So from LaunchBox, Tools, Manage, Emulators, we're going to add a new emulator. Now keep an eye out for the drop down in the future. We're probably going to be adding this because it is a really great emulator. But we need to set up the emulator name and we're going to call it Big PMU. Now we need to set up our application path or tell LaunchBox where the emulator is located. LaunchBox, Emulators, Big PMU. We're going to go with the EXE right here. When it comes to the command line parameters, there's nothing we need to do here but we do need to set up our associated platform. We're going to set this as Atari Jaguar, default emulator. You can extract the ROMs if you want to, but it does work with zips, so I'm just going to leave it unchecked. But since we're using the same emulator for Atari Jaguar CD, let's go ahead and add that here also. Default emulator for Jaguar CD. We can choose OK. So we've now got the emulator set up with LaunchBox and BigBox, it's time to import our games. Tools, Import, ROM Files, and remember we're actually going to do this twice because we're creating two different platforms, Atari Jaguar and Atari Jaguar CD. We're going to start off with the Jaguar games, we'll go ahead and choose Next. I'm going to add that full Atari Jaguar folder that I have in my LaunchBox games folder. Just transferred it over there. It's going to scan through there, find all of the games in there for me. I'll choose Next. Platform, Atari Jaguar. Emulator, Big P EMU, because we just set it up correctly. I'm going to use the files in their current location because I've already placed them in my LaunchBox directory to keep everything portable. 
I'm going to search for game information in the local metadata database. And I definitely want to download as much artwork as possible. So I'll be using the LaunchBox database and EMU Movies. We'll choose Next. We don't need to specify any custom options. Went ahead and parsed my games. As you can see, I've got some zips and I also have some J64. So we'll choose Finish. It's going to import all of those, download metadata and artwork for all of my games. And while all of that's downloading in the background, let's go ahead and set up our Atari Jaguar CD section also. Again, Tools, Import, ROM Files. I'm going to add the Atari Jaguar CD folder. Same thing here. The platform we're importing for is Atari Jaguar CD. We're using the big PMU emulator. I'm going to use them in their current location. I want as much artwork as possible. And as you can see, these are all .cdi files. We'll choose Finish. It's going to do the same thing. We'll go ahead and let both of these finish up. Once it's finished up, as you can see, we've got our Atari Jaguar CD games. Looks like it scraped everything really nicely. And we've also got our Atari Jaguar section. Kind of just like to go through here, check everything out. So we can actually start playing these games, but there's a little bit of setup that we need to do with the controller. If you remember, the Atari Jaguar had a really weird controller. So if you're using something like an Xbox, you're definitely going to have to get creative with it. Or you can use the main controls on that controller and then set up, let's say, you know, the numbered section over on your keyboard. This is what I've been doing just because, you know, the Atari controller was really, really odd. But let's go ahead and start a game up and we're going to go with... Um, Let's do Power Down Rally. Okay, so here we are up and running some Atari Jaguar games. Now to get our controller set up, really simple. And the user interface for Big PMU is absolutely amazing. We're going to press Escape on our keyboard. It's a default command. As you can see, it brings us up to this really nice uh, option screen. We've got a lot to mess around with here. We've got our load states. We've got our save states. A lot of this stuff is self-explanatory. But uh, I'm going to go through a couple things that I personally like to do here. Press escape one more time. It'll bring us over to this main menu. Video. Full screen. 720p. That's what I do, but you can always mess around with this. There's a lot of different resolutions that you can use. I think 720p looks great with these games. And I personally do like going full screen. We've got VSync. Disable screen saver. Video plugins can be added here. HDR output, I leave this disabled. But just going down the list here, you can see we've got a lot that we can adjust here. So it's really going to be personal preference. Go ahead and mess around with it. You can find settings that you really like to use. Escape one more time will bring us right back over. Audio settings, again, personal preference. Input. Very important. Input device count. So I'm only going to be using one controller, but we can go on up if you want to. So we've only got one input device that we need to map. From here, device type, standard, rotary, analog, driving, ADC, and standard. So I'm going to go with analog here because I'm using an Xbox controller. Set bindings. And from here, you can see it just gives us a nice little picture of that weird Atari Jaguar controller. And uh, we can map these. Very self-explanatory. My C button. Go ahead and map that on my controller. B. Pause. Going to be my start. Option. Kind of just like select. D-pad up. Down. Left. Right. Number pad. Now this is where it gets weird. We really don't have enough buttons on like an Xbox controller to map these. So what we can do is actually just set it up on our keyboard. So we're really going to be using two different control methods here. But obviously, number one, number two, and a lot of games did require, you know, having these buttons programmed or using these buttons here. So you may want to go through and do this. Set up your asterisk, pound, and here's our analog. So analog left, analog right, and so on and so on. But once we're finished with that, we can actually just go right back in. Just pressing escape a couple times will bring us right back out. We can start playing. So I'm going to go with practice here. Three, two, one, go. 
Okay, so that's obviously reverse, and you know, getting used to these controls is going to take a little bit of time, but it can definitely be done. So being able to play these Atari Jaguar games is awesome, but uh, what I was really interested in were these Atari Jaguar CD games. So we're going to go ahead and start, let's do Primal Rage, and check this out. So far, this emulator's worked out really well for everything that I've tested, and you know, I can't wait to see what happens in the future. I want to try a little bit of upscaling and add some filters to some of these games just to see what happens, but it's just awesome to see that we've got a new Jaguar emulator that supports the full retail suite. And obviously, this developer, Rich Whitehouse, has done an absolutely amazing job. So that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching and hope you get your favorite Atari Jaguar and Jaguar CD games up and running with LaunchBox. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.